what I do though is I, once a week, I have a CEO strategy day. And right. that is my day to do business development. That's my day to analyze. That's my time to literally have a 360 degree view of my company as the CEO. Thanks for tuning in everyone. I'm Terry Cardula, your host of Talking with Terry TV. As we usher in 2024, a lot of small businesses and entrepreneurs are looking to generate more in their business. Wanting it is one thing, but actually creating it is a whole nother story. Pro age speaker and founder of Second Act Women, Barbara Brooks is here again to help us out. Yes. Welcome. Thank you. All right, we were talking all about ageism last time and now having you back on here, we wanna talk about some business tips and tricks that we can do to really help us create more business. And I'm a big believer in the more that we can generate in our company, the more impact that we can have. And at the end of the day is how we can serve more um, and especially with what is going on in the world right now around us, we have an absolutely incredible opportunity to help make people's lives easier, better, mm -hmm. and more profound by the work that we're doing, right? Absolutely, it's about making an impact. That's where my company comes into play uh, is trying to not only make an impact in the ageism industry, so to speak, yeah. but also kind of reframe what aging looks like, but also because a lot of our women have left corporate America to become business owners because they've either, uh, you Yay. know, COVID was the great push yes. out of certain yes. age groups. Um, it was also the great resigna resignation for those same age groups, yeah. you know, who said, all right, enough. I want to do my own thing. I want to be my own boss. I want to be the CEO of my own life career business. So having a background in marketing and public relations, be, I, you know, I come from the shopping center industry, also a little radio and TV. I get a high off of also teaching our women a little bit about marketing and branding and business development. Okay, so diving in, yes. where does one start? And it doesn't matter, because some of our viewers um, are starting new businesses. A lot of them have had them for five, six, seven years. And even some are in the place of, you know, like, let's shut things down. Let's, let's look at selling. Let's look at, you know, the next phase for them, right? Yeah. And so, you know, looking in, at, you know, marketing and branding um, to that audience, where do we start? Where do we, you know, get our most bang for our buck, if you will, in 2024? Yeah, I think because there are so many places that people can find you or that you can speak to so many different people. I think it's really important no matter how long, and you said it, no matter how long you've been in business or you plan on sunsetting your business and maybe going on to another, it's really important to actually take a step back and have a business plan, mm -hmm. have what your revenue model is, understand your customers. Who are they? What is, you know, what problem are you ultimately trying to solve or help them solve? What, what is the transformation? Um, a lot of times, especially us over, you know, 40, 50, 60 plus, or really anybody, sometimes we start companies um, because we have the experience in that area. Mm -hmm. That's our expertise. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, you know, our, our place that, you know, we've done so well in. And so we think we can just start a company and get rolling and get those clients coming in and contacts going, coming through the door, referrals and things. But in actuality, if you don't have a plan, that's not he just here, but literally in writing mm -hmm. and having sitting down, even if it's a one, uh, one page business plan, just having sort of what are your key, who are your key customers, your primary, your secondary, what are their problems? Again, how are you going to transform the, make that transformation mm -hmm. and how it is only you can do it. Like right. what makes you different mm -hmm. so that that customer says, Hmm, okay. So-and-so's a marketing coach. And so is this person. You've got to figure out and, and share and, and, you know, make sure that they understand why it is you're the choice. Mm -hmm. So what is that differentiator Yeah, and, and what you offer compared to that other person? Yeah, I think that's so key. And when you narrow in on that and you can zone in on that, it's a game changer. It's a game changer. And I always think about, as you were talking about this, I always think about these three boxes, right? Like you think about who, what is your problem that you solve, right? 
And where is your clients that come to those? So that's let's say that's the, the second box. That's the problem that you solve. That's your business. Yeah. That's what you solve. And then you're thinking about where do your clients come from that you need to solve that problem, right? Yeah. That's the first box. They come to you to solve your problem. But then, in and, and people do not like me saying this, but as entrepreneurs, we create problems too, right? So every business will create a problem. So for mm -hmm. example, one of the problems that I create in my company with my clients is that they often come as um, a small business or an entrepreneur. And one of the problems that we create is that they get too much clients coming in, so they have to expand their team. Hmm. So my problem that I create, then, they, then I refer them off to somebody else that can help them with that problem because now they're in expansion. Now they're in team building. Yeah. Now they're like, okay, now I, I had to duplicate myself. I've now brought in more and more business. Yeah. Now I'm like, okay, either I duplicate myself or I need a VA, I need someone else. So then, right. I, then we the problem is they, they need to create team. Yeah. So if we can think about those three boxes, like how am I serving? What am I serving? And then they refer to me and then I'm here serving them in this way. And then think about the problem that we create for them, which again, we don't want to say that we yeah. create any problems and everyone's yeah. like, no, 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 I don't create any problems. But we do. Like if we're doing our job effectively, most likely we're going to create an expansion situation for our clients, right? And so, you yeah. know, again, going back to looking at how do we identify who those referral partners are that is in front of us. And I think there's always two ways to build a business. There's the marathon way and the sprint. The marathon way is the connections, the collaborations. Yeah, um, the plan just, in place. The, it just takes a long time for yes. that to happen, right? But then you have the marathon, which for me, it's been like either speaking or um, you know funnels or some sort of yeah. a system that can help bring in those leads um, yeah. with, for a client, right? Well, and where I'm trying to go with this too is, is it's okay to, to sprint to get to the end of something, mm -hmm. I think that's fine. I've done it. Um, what I'm saying is at times, especially when you're wanting, if you're a solopreneur or you mm -hmm. do, maybe you do just have a VA or you have one or other mm -hmm. team members, you still need to have boundaries and make sure that oh, you're not yeah. trying to do too much and you're trying to do all, do it all. Yes. Even though your wheelhouse may be coaching and you know but now you're the marketer now you're the brand now you've created your own logo which please don't do that well let me don't ask you this that. because i think so many entrepreneurs yeah <laughs> don't, don't do, do that. that don't do that but i think so as an entrepreneur when, when we start into entrepreneurship we are everything right like yeah absolutely. when you look at your you know you take your company flow chart you're the ceo you're the widget maker you're the you're the marketer you're the sales you're the your operations your admin the bookkeeper the right like you're the bookkeeper yeah. that you're everything Accountants. you're everything in that business so I think what is what is something that you can share that has helped as you have grown your your company yeah. is you know how do we outsource that and how do we as entrepreneurs you know manage that so for me it's uh, because I was in sprint mode when I first started well all three of my companies I was mm -hmm. in sprint mode now with second act women because I want to build sustainability with this company mm -hmm. I recognize that there are going to be times where I'm the CEO of my company and I'm also operations yeah. and the staff right so what I do though is I once a week I have a CEO strategy day and that is my day to do business development. That's my day to analyze, pull out my tracker, you know, and, and figure out what's going on in Google business, how many hits or unique visits that I have my website, how's my socials doing. That's my time to literally have a 360 degree view of my company as the CEO, because often we are always the operations and team. Mm -hmm. So we actually need to take a step back and I have CEO prompts, actually, literally a checklist of the things and I te that's what I talk to my my women about is you've got to have those days where you cuz remember you're the CEO you mm -hmm. started this company to replace the income if not make more income than you did before and if you're just go 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 and you don't have those days where you can focus on your goals and by that I mean your smarter goals cuz we've all heard of smart yeah, goals yeah. specific measurable attainable relevant, time bound. And then I have the E and the R because you have to execute and you have to reward yourself Love it. because a lot of yeah. times we'll create those goals for our company, the revenue. And by the way, 
make sure one of those goals is related to revenue. Because yes. again, we do forget we're in the mix of everything. We are trying to make money, but we forget to actually say, okay, I know my revenue model. Because remember, I said you have to have, you have to understand where your money is coming mm -hmm. from. And then it's really important to then say, one of my goals is making $80,000 in coaching. And then the other 20,000 in sponsorship or brand deals. And then another 10 in membership fees, whatever it may be. Yeah, right. But also do bite size. Yes. So don't try to do it all because I try to do it all. We all try to do it all. We're women. <laughs> right, right. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> well, let's take a quick break. We're going to come back and we're going we're to see if, what, what tips and tricks that you have up your sleeve that you can share with the women um, to help us make more money, have more impact this year. We'll be right back. I'm Jeffrey Bowling, owner and jewelry designer at Jeffrey B. Jewelers, Denver's number one jewelry design studio. And the reason why we're number one is because of our 3D custom jewelry design. We can show you what your piece is going to look like way before the end product. And this is going to give you the comfort of knowing you get exactly what you want. He took me over to the computer and we started drawing up exactly what I wanted. And I told my husband, I'm like, Jeffrey B is the person we're going to use. And the other reason is that all of our gold and our diamonds are ethically sourced. So when you're ready to make that proposal, when you're ready for that legacy piece, Go to JeffreyB.com and make an appointment because when it's love, it's Jeffrey B. We're back with Barbara Brooks and we're talking about how do we can create bigger impact and more money in our business in the new year. And let's start with what are some ways in which, you know, we can use marketing so that we can work smarter, not harder. Ooh, this is such a good question because we have to remember there's marketing, business development, and sales. Marketing is about making sure that you're messaging and getting your messaging out to the right place. Mm -hmm. And we mentioned avatars or your personal, mm -hmm. your that person, your primary target or your mm -hmm. secondary target. And so marketing and branding is entirely important and some of the shortcuts to getting that done, or at least what I say in the very beginning, if you have even $500 mm -hmm. or a thousand or less, go to Fiverr or, yeah. or, or get, go to, um, you know, do a brand deal with a brand, with a, an, another solopreneur who has a graphics, graphic design agency. And the one thing I say before you start that marketing or, or if you're looking to redo your, your brand a little bit, is to make sure that you look very sharp is, and mm -hmm. you, you've got professionally done brand, uh, uh, your, your logo, your colors are in order. Nobody can ever guess what your color of your brand is. <laughs> I know. We, would ever, we would never know. <laughs> Pink. Well, you know is what's so funny? It's so funny. Is like we will get messages that if I'm not wearing pink, they're like, "What's going on? What's is going she on? okay? Is she feeling ill? Like, what's <laughs> happening?" I was at an airport one time, and they're like, "Someone came up to me and saw me at the airport, and they're like." You're not wearing pink. And I'm like, are you okay? It's okay. Is it, is it okay? Like, Especially if you were in black. They're like, oh, Lord. I was wearing blue. And it was like, oh. But it's, but. But it's important. But that's that your is, brand. That is your personal brand, by the way, which is a whole nother and thing. people know it, right? They yes. know it. And that's mm -hmm. the thing, too, is if you're a solopreneur, I think what happens is, mm -hmm. or if you just have, you know, one or two people, you also think marketing and branding is going to cost a lot. Yeah. So I just said $500 just to get your logo. Just get that. Yeah. Yeah. And throw out a couple of colors and then have them, you know, create a couple of um, templates for you inside of Canva. Yeah. And I say also invest in a few great tools, which Canva yeah. is one. Canva is, first of all, it's a woman-owned company. Yay. Out of Australia. Yay. I did not know that. Again. Yep. Woman-owned yeah. company. And um, for 14 something dollars a month, you have access to stock photography, stock video, everything that you need. Mm -hmm. But get that foundation first. Of just or if you don't even have the 500 but you have the 14 a month get inside of canva and create your logo because they do have an area where yeah. you just drop in your name and they've got the you know all the different things to make your logo look punchy yeah. and professional and so there are tools like that that i highly recommend that as and a lot of people don't realize even if you're not a graphic designer or you don't have a marketing background or branding background you think canva is graphic design that's going to be too hard they have Canvas school inside yeah. of it. Yeah. So literally you can learn absolutely everything, kind of like Google. You can learn absolutely mm -hmm. everything inside of 
So and I, and I do that. like, and I do like that idea. Like if you don't have the resources and yes. even if you can, you can go into Fiverr or Upwork yes. and you can say, Hey, my budget is $300. Boom. Can you create these, all these assets for yeah. me? And then I have like an assets page. And so when I go in and I want to create something on the go and I'm like, I, I have a team, but I'm like, I don't want to bother them. I'm like, I can do this real quick. I'm like, bah, 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 bah. and I just like, I, I can cut, right? Yeah. It is on brand image. It is in alignment. Yes. Um, but some of these quick things, it's like, oh, we have like a little thank you that we want to put in your bag that you're going to get after the show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it myself. <laughs> Exactly. I mean, but you're, yeah. but yes, you're absolutely right. You can go to Etsy and buy an entire brand package yes. and, and, and make sure that it's for Canva and go in and just change the colors. So it's those minimal things that seem like it wouldn't make a big deal, but it does. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is if you are a solopreneur or regardless, whether you're a micro business mm -hmm. of one to 10 people or a macro, you, if you have social media, you are a brand. Mm -hmm. So whatever you put out on social media from your Facebook page to LinkedIn, that is your brand message. So we have yeah. to actually remember that. And I, I highly recommend scrubbing your pages. Um, you know, if there have been things and in the past you may you know, have forgotten that you said you could put in search bar and, you know, love it pop in politics and scrub your politics, whatever it may be. Oh, but interesting. I did not know that little yes, hack, by the way. You can That's put a great... it in the Facebook search bar and you put in whatever you want to scrub, literally the name that you think you may have talked Something negatively about. about or whatever. Look at that. That's um, a great hack. Yeah. I and it'll go in and, yeah. and find all of your posts. And you can and delete, delete. Da, 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 da. And they're gone. Like, there you go. I love they're it. Gone. I love it. You can scrub so, your own website. I scrub love, your own social media. Yeah. But speaking of social media, I think that's so important because I think a lot of people want to just like, they get excited. It's like a kid in the candy shop and it's like, <gasps> da, 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 da. it's like, what's the next thing? It's like, you know, Clubhouse and TikTok and Facebook oh, and Instagram yeah. and da 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 and da 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 da. So, what's your tip on helping us stay <laughs> focused from stay two focused. ADHD people to another? <laughs> Hey, 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 no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I would say uh, it's really important to go back to who that person is that you're trying to transform. That, so that problem you're trying to help that client, that mm -hmm. customer solve, where can they be found? Mm -hmm. So if they are a, um, a, a woman at 42 or 45 or a woman at 35. Where is she online? Where do you really think she is? And you have to relate it to not only the problem you're solving, but also what are your product offerings? Mm -hmm. So if you're a business coach, you know where you should be on LinkedIn. That is yeah. where you should be mm -hmm. having a newsletter even on, on LinkedIn, having those conversations, following those clients or those companies that you hope to speak for, or you hope to do business with. And I don't mean just following by the way, um, or the reporters, if you want media attention, mm -hmm. follow, mm -hmm. but engage. Yes. Literally, because you will stand out because a lot of times people don't have time to engage. Yeah. And so if you keep engaging once or twice a week with mm -hmm. a favorite reporter mm -hmm. or because you want to get a yeah. story out yeah. or a company, you know, Pfizer, I'm totally throwing that one out there because you want to, um, you know, do business with them one day. Okay. That's kind of big, but Go and engage because you might just, that's yeah. how I've actually been securing mm -hmm. the podcast and the speaking gigs and the things that I'm doing as a one woman show with an amazing group of women volunteers are helping me, but that's how I'm growing my brand. Yeah. So remember you've got your business brands and your personal brand. So it's really important. Of course, if they're in alignment with one another uh, and your values and all of that. But, um, yeah, I think it's really important to recognize. Oh, so in answer to the question, pardon me is to, yes, if it's, as I said, business coach LinkedIn, and then maybe one other place, Yeah. but please just, as they say, um, what did they say? Take a bite out of an elephant one bite at a time. Mm -hmm. I'm horrible with analogies and that's a really <laughs> gross one considering I love animals and I love, um, elephants, but yeah. So find, find, um, go on LinkedIn and then maybe also HR people. Mm -hmm. If you're trying to, or an event planner, maybe they're also on TikTok or maybe yeah. they're also on Facebook is actually making a very large come back. I am noticing because of the other social media platform that changed its name. Many people are coming back. So you now have, okay, so I watch a lot of reality TV, but you have Bravo and Andy Cohen and all of them. Now, instead of saying, go to Twitter for the, for the show, 
they're now saying go to our Facebook page. Gotcha. They're now saying go yeah. to TikTok. Yeah. So be very mindful. Just focus, focus, focus on for for you know three to six months, if not longer, on those two mediums that your primary customer is. Get good at that. Get those analytics and those numbers up, and then add. There you go. I love it. That's a great tip. But don't add because you like yes. that medium. Yes. You, you should never be marketing to yourself. Yeah, yeah. That's always something I, I, I completely remember, you know, someone saying. You, you may not be that demographic or that person that needs what you're offering. I love it. All right. Final thoughts. Any quick final thoughts for our audience today? My final thoughts are there are so many great shortcuts out there that can save you time and money. And we were just mm -hmm. talking about calendars. So one of the things, so I wasn't joking earlier, I, I personally was diagnosed with ADHD last year, which all of my friends were like, really? You didn't know that? <laughs> um, I guess I kind of knew it. Um, but um, so one of the things that mm -hmm. I started doing um, towards the end of last year, and then now I'm really on it, is I making sure that one day is my meeting day because my brain likes to be all over. And if I'm doing meetings throughout the week at different times, I'm not able to actually sit down and, and have my, my, my focus days. Mm -hmm. So I highly recommend, um, uh, you know, finding a day that works for you to do business development, which is relationship marketing, yeah, you know, and all that, right. you know, to do your CEO day to do maybe Wednesdays are my days mm -hmm. that I'm out of the house, out of the office. I also say there's Google workspace. So Slack is really big, of course, and all that, right? You can save a ton of money by simply using Google workspace for, I think, 15 or $20 a month. You have chat inside of there for you and your team. You of course have drive. Now they have their own form of Calendly inside oh, of it, perfect. brand new. I love tech, so yes. I just found yeah. it out a couple of weeks ago. Um, so there's that. So you can use you can use everything inside of. Um, you could create checklists inside of Docs. Literally, if you if you purchase Google Workspace, you can create and it'll have a, it'll have a, a checkbox next to it, and you can literally say when you want that to be done. You can the date, and it'll then tether to your calendar, your Google Calendar. So use as as less. Um, but very robust. I use chat GPT, which I thought that I wouldn't, but I did it. And <laughs> it does make life easier. It makes life easier. As long as, and here's the, you here's, said it. I will I say, something. like, I will say, like, just be mindful. I had a, a, a tech company tell me that, you know, they, on social media and on the Google, they are scrubbing. And so if they find it, a certain percentage, and don't quote me on the percentage, but a certain percentage over, you're not gonna be seen. So make sure it's a tool and then yes. it's a tool. And make it your own voice. But then make sure that you go back and you really, you know, yeah. make it your own voice and make it, yeah. there's there are some shortcuts, but make sure, th sure that. Well, and that, that means also, so that just made me think because you taught me that is to then make sure your own keywords are in there. Yeah, so yeah. it may create this beautiful, like my yeah. bio was written. Yeah. I threw out all, you know, I'm a writer anyways, yeah. but I threw in all of that. Um, and it came back with a really beautiful bio, and if but you I still prime made it, my voice. And if I'm you cheeky, prime it, I'm fun. Yeah, yeah, if you prime it, it makes it so much easier and it does yeah. stay more in alignment with your brand voice. So. Yeah, one more thing. Uh, one more tool that I highly recommend is using Loom. Yeah. So we can go back and forth, especially if you have a product or you have something that you need to demonstrate and you can't be in the office with that client or you need to yeah. demonstrate whatever it may be. Even something, I mean, obviously online is what I mean. Um, and you don't want to do the back and forth mm -hmm. with the email shoot a quick loom. You can get, you can do loom for free. I'm on the free version and I can literally, you know, go and say, Oh, well, this is how you do Canva. This is where you find the da, 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 da. next thing you know, you've got a quick two minute video that the client can follow. Yeah. It's great. It's a great resource. Oh, one more. Yeah. Okay. One more. That's it. Okay. Wise stamp for your signature line. Yes. I use it. I, I use, love it. I love it. That's if you go look at wise that. stamp. That's true. I'm on the free version for that too. And the things I have things that are doing this in my signature line, my profile picture. I've got like, you know, all the publications that I've been in with links backs to Forbes and yeah, there's so many tools. I love it. Well, <laughs> make sure that you check out secondactwomen.com for all the information on Barbara Brooks and her community. And we look forward to seeing you on the next show. Thank you so much. And as always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be the magic of you. Massive love to all of you. And we'll see you on the next show.
Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell to find out about my upcoming shows. Thank you for tuning in today and I'll see you next time.